Hey YouTube, long time no see. So, of course my phone would go off right then. So, um, yeah. Sorry, I guess I should have put all this stuff away while I was getting ready. So, those of you that have been watching me for a while, you see me use this all the time, right? This is my Fiskars, like, trimmer it goes up to 15 inches. And the main part of it is six and a quarter inches. And it's like the larger one. And I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Well, back in February, I was starting to do my kids' uh, Valentine's. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. Right above my thumb, the blade caught on that wire. You can kind of see where it's frayed a little bit. So the blade caught it, it gouged the blade, and now um, it'll catch on that wire if you're cutting down, it'll catch on the wire. So I was doing my research on new paper trimmers, trying to figure out what I wanted. And um, I, was, I was just going to go buy a new one of these because I absolutely love, love, love it, love it. But then I did end up buying a new cutter, and I bought ugh, the Cutter Pillar Pro the big guy. And I haven't used it much because I haven't been in my craft room. I'll be honest, I've been bad. I have not been down here like since I got done making my kids Valentine's, which was like the week before Valentine's Day. And I haven't been down here since and that has come. I mean, I brought it down and I cut some paper just to see how it worked and whatnot. But that was it. So anyways, well then I'm one. If I'm not in my craft room, I'm on YouTube if I have the extra time watching videos. And I happened to stumble across a video and I, I want to say it was Jennifer McGuire, but I'm not positive. I don't really remember. I, I was just kind of Googling cutter videos. Um, and she was comparing like this and the Pro Cutter. I think the, Pro, I think the Cutter Pillar Pro was on there. But the one thing I found out, and I'm going to share with you guys today, Fiskars has like lifetime warranty or a huge, like a I don't know, a really long warranty or something. But most Fiskars products have like this crazy long, if not lifetime warranty on them. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me because I love this thing. And like the one thing I love more on this than the Cutter Pillar Pro, excuse me, if you want to cut like a half inch piece of paper or a one inch piece of paper, you can just by measuring it on this side. Well, with the Cutter Pillar Pro, you can't unless you measure it like you put this well you can't even measure a half inch because it starts with three quarters of an inch and then one inch so like the sh smallest piece that you can accurately cut is basically three quarters of an inch some people have got got like um removable or sticker uh measurements with theirs i didn't get one with mine i didn't get any with mine actually so I was like, oh, that makes me sad. But anyways, not a huge deal. But so I found out that this had a lifetime warranty. So I called up Fiskars and it didn't even matter that I'd bought this like four or five years ago. They sent me a replacement part. So in this video, what we're gonna do is we are going to fix my Fiskars thingy. All right, and I, I did, I ended up with two because um, I called in my claim and it was like almost a month later and I hadn't got it. And um, then I, so I did a, a claim online and then when you know it, they showed up back to back, like one one day and one the other day. So now it is figuring out how we do this without breaking it. Oh. Just really gently pulling up on this. That's mm. mm. not doing it. I know y'all probably can't see what I'm doing. 
There we go. So that was pretty easy. Now all I did, this right here was just like down in there. And so I just very as easily and but it was as much pressure as I could without breaking it. I pushed up on that until it come over the lip. And once one side was free, the other side was free. So then you want to make sure you're putting it back on the new one on properly. And I'm just going to shove this in on this end and gently I think it's easier if you put it up in the air like this. The good news is if I break this one while trying to put it in, I do have a replacement for it. Boom! And it's in. Look at that. So now it's brand new without it. And I can toss this one in the trash and I'm going to toss that blade with it too because that's the one that's gouged. I can actually go in recyclables. Alright, hold on. Don't run away on me. What? I don't All right, sorry. Now I do, the next time I buy these, I am going to pick up the titanium ones because I just learned about those too. The titanium blades, they last a little bit longer and uh, they're a little bit more expensive, but I learned about those when I was doing my research on cutters. So then I'm just gonna pop this, that popped in way too easy. And there we have it. So there, back to as good as new. That's awesome. And I'm going to, this other one that I got in the mail, I'm just going to put it aside in case something, if this one, but I, I mean, I do recommend this cutter. I like the Cutter Pillar Pro with what little bit I've tried it out and played with it. But I like highly recommend this one. I've had it for like I say four or five years now. And oh my God, I love it. I love, 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 love it. And um, it's like, it's really portable. It measures up to 15 inches. It measures all the way down to the smallest, what, like, I don't know, eighth of an inch. Oh no, you can even, I don't know. It measures short, but um, yeah, I love this thing. That's why when I found out, even though I already had the color pillar ordered when I found out that Fiskars does their warranties, I think I may have even already had the color pillar no, no, I just had it ordered. And um, I still went ahead and got my replacement because I love having this one. You'll see me using the cutter pillar because I do like how smooth of a cut it is. But like definitely for smaller cuts or for my kids, I'll, I'll let them use this one when they're helping me. Because my oldest, David, likes to help me with crafting and whatnot. And um, so I let him cut paper and stuff and run it through the die cut machine and stuff like that. But... All right, so there you have it. If you have a Fiskars product and there's anything wrong with it, contact Fiskars. You can go online. Um, you can go online and submit a claim or you can call them and submit a claim. Just know if you're doing it online, um, take a picture of your item. Doesn't have to be a close, they don't want like a close up of the damage. They want a picture of the whole item. So just take a picture of the item to attach to your email. So cool. So there you go. That's how, again, you just easily pry up right here, or if it's easier for you to pry down, pry it down here until it pops out, and then just do the same to pop it back in. Just be gentle. Don't be forced. Don't be too forceful. You don't want to break it. So that being said, there's that. And um, trying to put it back down here, and it's not going in. There we go. So. Um, those of you, oh, okay, sorry. So those of you that have been waiting and being like, where the heck is this girl? I am coming back, guys, I swear. I just, I'm trying to learn how to juggle three little kids and um, full-time job. <clears throat> and believe me, my job doesn't leave when I walk out of my office at five o'clock. I was on the phone today um, doing work-related item issues 
and uh, it's a Sunday. Today's a Sunday. So my phone rings constantly. I even had it ringing at midnight one night. So um, I'm working as a dispatcher for a trucking company. And I love it. I really, really do. Um, it's just the pay needs to pick up for me to be able to keep it. So that's my only issue with it right now. And I keep being told it will pick up the closer, more in April. So, or a lot more in April. So let's keep our fingers crossed that it will. So, um, so yeah, um, but I'm working on figuring out how to juggle my work life and personal life and get some time back in my craft room because I do miss it down here. So yeah, and I really want to do a mini album. I got some great ideas and I really, really want to do some. And then maybe sell them because that'll help bring some extra money in for my family. So that would be great. Um, but yeah, and I just signed my middle son up for <laughs> soccer. He already does, you guys have heard me talk about my Michael who has um, a developmental disability. And he already has therapy t Tuesdays and Thursday nights, every night. A one hour on Tuesdays and an hour and a half on Thursdays. Well, now he's got soccer on Wednesday nights. Like, I make the joke he's the busiest five-year-old I know. But he loves it. And, um, and yeah, I, I basically spend a lot of time in my car. But, luckily, I like my car. My, my little SUV, I like it. And um, I like doing it for my little, my little boys. They're good boys, so wanted to sign our oldest David up for soccer too, but they don't have a program open yet for his age group. So I'm trying people. If the money doesn't start picking up at my job though, I'll probably be quitting it and going back to being stay at home mommy. So then you guys would see me more, but let's not pray for that. Cause I do like my job and I like bringing in some extra money for my family. So, okay. So that's update. And I showed you all how to fix the Fiskars. So I guess I will stop talking now and shut this one off and then I want to show y'all I'm going to do a quick little video of some new little goodies that I've picked up the last few weeks here. So thank you all very much for watching. Bye bye.